Hello Leos, how are you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can contact me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com. Okay, you guys, everything you need to know about booking is below, okay, in the description box. You guys know this is a general message, so it may or may not be your situation, okay? Um, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? Also, the energies are interchangeable, so it could be you or the other person, okay? Again, you know your life, you know um, what you're going through or been through or whatever, so you'll know, okay, if it resonates. So, over here to the left, we have some past energy. Um, this could have happened a while ago for some of you. Others, maybe it's happening now. Possibly it is a general message, but we've got the Six of Cups, the Two of Swords reversed, also the Page of Wands reversed, and the Three of Swords. So, yes, this um, energy is definitely about someone from your past, okay? For a lot of you, I feel, could have had kids with them, okay? Could have been a soulmate connection as well. And um, maybe missing the person, but you know, a decision was made. Okay, uh, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarian energy here, and um, you know, the Two of Swords in the upright is about needing to make a choice. Okay, being stuck a little bit, and some of you just decided you didn't want to communicate with this person anymore. You made your decision. It may have hurt. Okay, because we have the Three of Swords here, but the Page of Wands reverse is about, um, you know, not communicating, a lack of passion, a lack of enthusiasm here, okay, regarding this person. And it could have been because of a third party for some of you, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, the Three of Swords does not always mean cheating, okay? It could have been some other form of disrespect, okay, that this person was uh, doing, or you could have been doing it. All right, guys, just, uh, you know, take it how it fits. So, yeah. I'm seeing some pain here, okay, guys, something that hurt. Now, let's move here into the current energy. Uh, so, we have the Seven of Wands, the King of Cups, also the Hierophant reversed, the Strength card, the Eight of Swords, and also the Nine of Swords reversed. So, um, somebody's defensive, okay, about something here. Somebody could be uh, criticizing you or you could be doing this, but the Seven of Wands is about standing your ground, standing up for yourself, or you could be defending other people. I don't know, maybe your family, your friends, uh, kids, whatever, or yourself. Like I said, you know, someone's very defensive um, and guarded. Okay, next we have the King of Cups. So I think this person does love you. I do. Maybe you two love each other, but... I'm seeing that, you know, somebody is also po possibly in love with uh, someone who's married here. It could be a Taurus with the Hierophant being um, next here, but it's reversed. So somebody could be going through a divorce. Um, others of you, you know, this just represents a lack of commitment, okay, either on your behalf or theirs. And someone needs to find their strength to um, get out of this situation, all right? The strength card is your card, okay, Leo, and this is about willpower, this is about doing what's best for you, okay? Um, again, you know, confidence and moving forward is what I see, okay? And I think it's been difficult for a lot of you because we have the Eight of Swords next to the Nine of Swords. So a lot of heavy mental conflict, confusion, mind games, and um, uncertainty, okay? But the Eight of Swords itself is about someone feeling kind of trapped here, um, maybe not knowing what to do or not having the resources. It could be money or, the, again, the confidence to get out of uh, whatever situation this is. All right. And then we also have the nine of swords, like I said. So in the upright, this is about overthinking. Okay. Anxiety, fear. Okay. Uh, need to make a decision. And uh, some of you are releasing this energy. So that's good. Coming out of your head here and doing what's best for you. Okay. Which is always a good thing. So let's come up here to this energy at the top. All right. Keep in mind, it could be you or them, but we have the eight of cups reversed. The Two of Cups reversed, also the Five of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Swords reversed, and the Ace of Wands reversed. So somebody's not walking away from this uh, situation. Others of you, maybe you um, you did, but you may not have necessarily wanted to. That's, you know, for me as a reader, that's how I see the Eight of Cups sometimes, okay, where someone is forced, you know, so to speak, to leave behind something maybe they didn't want to, okay? Someone's also feeling very remorseful, all right, with the Five of Cups. But next, we also have the Two of Cups reversed. So there's a breakup, okay, or separation here, um, you know, and two people just not being together. And I do uh, see a sense of loss here, okay? Someone feeling uh, bad or either feeling guilty or just like the situation is a lost cause, okay? And maybe 
focusing more so on um, money and, and work life energy with the uh, Ace of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. The Ace of Pentacles is about a new opportunity. Okay, so some of you um, just kind of look at this situation as a lost cause. Okay, that's what I see. And we also have the Five of Swords reversed, right? So with the Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords being down there, and then this Five of Swords here, I think this was very tough for a lot of you, okay? This connection here. And the Five of Swords, you know, again, is about mind games, conflict, competition, and some of you could be coming out of that, okay? You just don't feel inspired by this uh, connection any longer, all right, with the, um, with the Ace of Wands reversed, okay? There's blockages here. Could be, you know, you're not passionate about it anymore, or, um, you know, something just is not, there's no spark there. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. So let's move down here to the bottom. All right, so we've got the Knight of Pentacles reversed, the, um, you know, the Five of Wands reversed, the Seven of Cups reversed, the Judgment, also the Ten of Wands reversed, and the Devil reversed. So someone's put a stop to this, okay, with the Nine of Pentacles in the uh, reverse position. It could have taken a long time, though, okay, for some of you either to get out of this situation. Some of you are still trying to get out of it. And, um, you know, it could have somebody here very uh, conflicted internally, all right, with the Five of Wands. This is about conflict, arguing, bickering, you know, fussing, not getting along with others, okay? And I'm also seeing confusion here with the... Um, with the seven of cups all right needing to narrow down your options here or this person okay we also have the judgment so this is about enlightenment okay um some sort of shift in consciousness all right that some of you could be feeling here and um some sort of awakening or uh spiritual wisdom has been gained a lot through this experience for a lot of you okay i think it was definitely challenging with that ten of wands being next okay this is about burdens conflict uh well not really conflict but um just the the connection itself being kind of heavy feeling like a burden and uh you know challenging now we also have the devil reverse could be dealing with capricorn so we all know that this um is not good okay this is about addictions control issues um you know narcissistic behavior personalities uh bondage you know feeling like um yeah, someone felt trapped here, okay, in, in darkness or in something that just was not healthy, all right? But again, that judgment card is there, so this is someone being released from that, okay? I'm not sure exactly what this person sent you through, but I think it's um, been very heavy on some of you here, okay, for sure. Now, uh, coming over here to the right, we have the potential outcome energy. So we have the lovers reversed, the ten of cups, the three of cups, the six of, I mean, the three of pentacles. Also, the Knight of Swords and the Four of Wands. Could be dealing with a Gemini here, but this is about a breakup. Yeah, and some of you, this is going to make you very happy here, okay, to um, end this situation because we have the, um, you know, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so a breakup is happening, and I feel like somebody is being released here, okay? A new lease on life after getting out of this uh, connection because I do feel as though it's been very toxic, okay? Um, some of you, this person could have really broke your confidence, okay, is, is what I'm picking up. Um, and I also feel like somebody here was being smothered, okay, because they could have been dealing with someone who's very controlling and manipulative, okay? So we also have the Three of Cups here, all right? This is about coming together. Um, it could be reconciling for some of you, others of you, you know, based on those other cards, I think this is you going out having a good time, okay, either with uh, fam uh, friends or family and just not focusing on this relationship anymore, okay, focusing on your work as well because we have the Three of Pentacles next, okay, so some of you, this definitely relates to a third party situation, but you know, guys, I really feel here that this is you, um, again, gaining your confidence and your strength back after going through something that's been uh, very difficult, all right. Now, we also have the Knight of Swords reverse. Yeah, so you're not going to be taking action towards this. You don't want to do whatever this person is, um, you know, trying to get you to do or is about, okay? Um, you know, just this whole experience here, I feel, is um, coming to an end, okay, for a lot of you. And again, you're not really taking action, maybe holding back, okay, with the Knight of Swords reverse. Others of you, 
you could meet someone new, I think. Um, it could be a same-sex connection for some of you here with the Four of Wands. But this is about stability, communication, you know, um, harmony, you know, people getting along here, celebrating that type of thing. And um, yeah, so overall, I think that this really isn't a bad reading okay considering where those um you know the uh, potential outcome cards are so i don't think this is bad i think that some of you definitely have been in a situation or are still currently in one where you really need to get your uh strength back okay leo and your confidence back okay to release this uh toxic devil energy here okay so that's what I see, you guys. If this resonated, go ahead and hit the like, share, and subscribe button and the bell notification, okay? Also, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can contact me at claritygoddesstarot at gmail.com, okay? Thank you so much. Take care.